Along the margins of Puget Sound, in Washington State, each low tide reveals an expanse which is sometimes sea, sometimes land, the intertidal zone. Today we are walking the beach not far from Browns Point near the city of Tacoma. In this particular area, the intertidal zone is made up of medium-sized rocks. These are the remnants of alpine glaciers. Much of the surrounding land is typical glacial moraine, an unsorted mix of mud, sand, and rocks of various sizes. Over time, this mixture of aggregates ends up on the beach. Some of the stones are small enough to be tossed about by waves as a tide ebbs and flows. Others are larger and therefore more stable. It is these larger rocks which provide a platform for a vast array of small marine animals. It is middle springtime. As the season progresses, many thousands of species of algae multiply rapidly in these nutrient-filled chilly waters. And as the algae multiply, those who feed upon them do also. Let's take a closer look. We'll turn over a few of these medium-sized rocks to see what's going on. Life is astonishingly abundant in this intertidal zone, although many of the creatures here are caring about their lives out of sight. The barnacles can't move when the tide goes out, but the other animals will find places under the cobbles or between them. Right away we see the most nimble inhabitants of this ecosystem, the tiny shore crabs. They hurry and scurry out of sight where possible. And if there doesn't seem to be any place to run, they may assume a defensive posture. It is difficult to take a close look at them here, so we'll catch a couple and take them higher on the beach for a photo shoot. It isn't immediately obvious, but there are two common species of our little shore crab friends. Those commonly called green shore crabs are referred to taxon Hemigrapsis oregonensis. They vary somewhat in coloration, but tend to be light green. Purple shore crabs, Hemigrapsis nudus, display less color variation and of course are typically purple. Taxonomists, scientists who classify plants and animals, note other differences. The front edge of the carapace is smoother in the purple species. The greens have bristles on the legs, while the purples do not. It is easy to distinguish between males and females in both species. Male, shown here on the left, has a small abdomen. The female has a large one. The large abdominal segments in females provide a brooding pouch for hundreds of eggs. We will go back down the beach to near the water's edge. A group of Barrow's Golden Eye are eating seaweed and foraging for small invertebrates. Let's look at the surface of one of the larger, more stable rocks. A typical assortment of sessile animals includes these small mussels and a few of the large thatched barnacles. Small acorn barnacles cover most of the remaining surface. And this fully mobile chitin has found a place to wait out the low tide. Another chitin was hiding under a different rock until we turned it over. Here, at ten times actual speed, he tries to make his getaway. We'll turn the rock back over so he'll be protected from the sun. Each rock is a new adventure. Turning over this one reveals an entire community of very small hermit crabs. They don't seem to be too concerned about having been exposed, but another of our green shore crab friends scrambles for safety.
looking more closely at the underside of the rock, we get a good view of our pea-sized hermits. We've disturbed this unusually energetic, inch-long flatwork, too. We'll watch her for a while, at actual speed, until she rejoins some friends. Despite its resemblance to a centipede, this marine isopod is more closely related to the pill bugs in our gardens. While we've been here, the tide has turned and we'll soon be flooding this beach. We'll head back toward Dash Point and leave the denizens to the twice daily part of their lives covered by the sea. A juvenile bald eagle flies overhead to see what the gulls are doing. An adult bald eagle has spotted an osprey and intimidates it into dropping its lunch. Poison oak is a very attractive plant, but don't touch. This eared grebe is a specialist at finding and eating some of the intertidal animals we examined today. 